This AFC North predictions edition of the Sports Gambling Podcast is presented by WinBet. WinBet is now live in Colorado, Indiana, Michigan, New Jersey, Tennessee, and Virginia. From boosted parlays to in-game odds on every major sport, WinBet has what you need to win. Sign up today and receive a $500 risk-free sports bet. Download the WinBet app now or visit wynnbet.com and start winning today. We're also brought to you by PropSwap. America's number one app to buy and sell sports bets. Use promo code SGP on your first deposit and receive up to five hundred dollars in bonus cash. That's PropSwap.com. Promo code SGP. We're also brought to you by PicksWise. PicksWise is the number one home of free sports betting picks. Visit PicksWise.com to make your next bet better. We're also brought to you by Underdog Fantasy. Sign up at UnderdogFantasy.com with promo code SGPN and receive a free. $25 entry to use in Best Ball Mania 2 for a chance to win $1 million. And of course, don't forget to download the SGPN app. SGPN is giving you a chance to win $100,000 NFL Week 1 exclusively on the SGPN app. Woo! Welcome, everyone, to the Sports Gambling Podcast. I'm Sean, stacking that money green with my partner in picks, Ryan. Real money, Kramer. What's happening, Kramer Dog? Sup, dog? Dog. I feel like you didn't have me set to football volume, uh, Ryan. You, you you got me Peaking. off with the pre-roll. Uh, can, can we real quick, uh, since this is what number three in the series, can we just do a real quick uh, NFC West? Dog. Dog. AFC West. Dog. And now we welcome AFC North to the family. Dog. The original dog himself, Scott. Bowser, you know him from the Luck Stops here podcast. Steelers fan, all around good guy, our friend in the desert. What's up, Bowser? Aloha, boys. I'm just <laughs> living that Luel lifestyle over here, out of this but, island uh, surrounded by a landmass. You know, you know, I've I've known Bowser for a real long time. Friends with him for a real long time. You think you know Bowser, <laughs> and then <laughs> and then he show. It, but that's what's great about Bowser. There's always a wrinkle. There's always a a text he sends me that I didn't expect an angle, a, a video, <laughs> but whatever it is, it's always, there's always a little Bowser surprise today comes in the form of him rocking an Andy Reed s Hawaiian shirt on the yeah. podcast. Got the Steelers hat with the Hawaiian shirt. It's, uh, yeah, it's football I'm ready to coach the pro bowl right now, guys. <laughs> yes. Like that is, that is very Tomlin uh, pro bowl vibes or, or of course, obviously uh, Andy Reed. And uh, yeah, man, how, how, uh, Vegas, where is the um, real quick? We'll hop into these win totals oh. and previews, but Bowser, where does the, uh, now that you can cons- consider yourself a Las Vegas local, what is the, <laughs> uh, what is like the local hang? Give us like the ideal local hang on a, uh, on an NFL Sunday. Uh, I usually like the sun coast uh, Santa Fe station. Mm. Or the uh, Red Rock. Now I think I'm going to start hitting Santa Fe Station more this year because I got new golf clubs. Yeah, it's right across the street from a golf course I like, so I can go hit a couple buckets in the morning and then head over for NFL games. Who, who are we talking to right now? <laughs> who is this person? I know Bowser. He's hitting he's... golf balls. He's flashing some serious fucking Tommy Bahama threads. <laughs> it's all coming up, Bowser. Let's go, baby. Let's get into it. Of course, this is. Football. This is the Sports Gambling Podcast Network, and this is the Win Bet Read. That's right. W Y N N B E T dot com. Coming at you. Get that Win Betting app. Or if you're like Bowser, you live in uh, Nevada, head over to the Win. Beautiful sports book over there. Great people, great customer service. But if you can't make it to Las Vegas, Las Vegas can come to you in the form of the Win Betting app. It is now live. In a number of states, including Colorado, Indiana, Michigan, New Jersey, Tennessee, and Virginia. More states coming soon. Best part about it a risk free $500 sports bet. Get in now. Get in on these win totals, player props. They got it all, even preseason action. You know, we're giving out picks for that. Download the win bet app now or visit wynnbet.com to start. Winning today. Let's fucking go. Kramer. Let's do it. Ravens, where are we at? Well, we're in Baltimore still. Mm. Uh, last year, eleven and five. 
Uh, again, just a team that seems to know how to get it done under Mr. Harbaugh. The bet, the the better Harbaugh uh, that went over their win total of eight and a <laughs> half last year. Boy, that that feels like uh, in hindsight a pretty disrespectful uh, win total. Yeah. Uh, after the success they've had. Yeah, uh, I mean Lamar was coming off an MVP season. Uh, Why was that so low? Uh, uh, well, you know, uh, different vibe. Eleven. Is the win total this year, Sean? Uh, plus one hundred on the over, minus one twenty for the under. Division plus one fifteen. They are the favorites. Uh, conference, the AFC plus six fifty. Super Bowl fourteen to one to make the playoffs. You got to lay three hundred to win a hundred to miss the playoffs. Plus two twenty five. Key additions. I mean the receivers, right? You got Sammy Watkins, you got uh, Bateman. Yeah, but they're all hurt. That's they're the all thing. Hurt. Uh, Rashad Bateman, core muscle injury. Sammy Watkins. You he's got the li- up. you got the lineman turnover, uh, which you know I d- you, if you trust anyone to to get it right and to be able to plug offensive linemen in, you do trust this Ravens team. Although they did take a step back last year, uh, a little bit performance based, a little bit just injury based. Uh, and then they lost the they lost some pass rush, and that's kind of the the, the bigger narrative. Uh, I don't I don't really consider myself Mark Ingram as a key loss. I'm kind of <laughs> worried about the the Willie Sneed role. I do feel like Willie Sneed randomly was a part of this offense on key uh, throws, and uh, so I'm curious to see what they look like. Like, can they actually become this offense that can can go down the field once in a while? I don't know, Sean. Eleven is a, a a lofty win total. Super high. We've discussed this on previous shows. Uh, you know, when, once you get up in the the realm of double 10, digit 10 and a win half. totals are tough to to clear. I think it was forty five point six percent, only hitting the over on double digit win totals if you took out the Patriots. But again, now it's the seventeenth game. Either way, eleven feels a uh, hair high for this Ravens. I will walk through the schedule in a bit. Lamar Jackson dealing with the second COVID. Um, and, and I just think that that with all these receiver injuries, I think are is really going to mo- uh, mess up the flow of their pass game. Like they keep talking about, hey, we're going to get the pass game right. Defense should still probably be pretty good. Again, Harbaugh pretty consistent. They actually faced a top five easiest schedule last year. They kind of went on a run late, racking up some wins against some shitty teams. Top ten toughest schedule, however, this year. They did have some fumble luck. Uh, they fumbled the most in the NFL and recovered their own fumbles the most at seventy five percent. Sean, they underperformed their expected win total w- with eleven <laughs> wins last year. So, uh, it's str- it's str- I don't even know. I- I'm not really sure what to think about this team. Very, other than yeah, kind of interesting. I'm Led curious league. Bowser's take as a as a hater. Yeah. Yeah, you know, well, I think uh, as a hater, even I think Lamar might be in line for one of those like transcendent seasons where he does something that we haven't seen someone do mm-hmm. at the quarterback position before, like something really crazy where like he does something like fifteen hundred in like four thousand yeah. yards or something rushing and re- throwing, like, like it just throws up like fifty total touchdowns and just reinvents what an MVP season can be, and so like that's always on the table with these guys. And with Mark Andrews is a steady red zone target. Those re, those injuries you're talking about at receiver. Don't, don't scare me off this win total over mm. right now because you're getting that juice at the plus one. I, I think uh, probably this team's four is 10 and seven. And so at 11, you're getting a push. I, I think they can go out as high as a 13, 14 win season this year with that extra game of the 17th game and shit, you know, like, yeah. I mean, I, as a guy who's kind of out on their passing game, their defense is so consistent. The special teams consistent and Harbaugh. I mean, 35 and 13 last three years and Lamar Jackson, as much as I don't think he's kind of the guy and his passing isn't quite enough to carry them in the playoffs, 30 and seven as a starter. It's just yeah. tough to get away from that. These guys just get it done with him under this coaching regime right now. And I, I don't want to fade. I mean, as much I hope they should take a shit nap as a fan, but they, but uh, I mean, dude, yeah, no, I mean, th- th- they're rock solid. And you know, what I really like is the sneaky best ball that I've been getting like as low, late as the 10th round is a Gus Edwards. Oh, like, dude, talking, like, I, talking, I you're gonna, talking to you. the president of the <laughs> Gus Edwards fan club. Uh, you're going to get cream uh, all around. Look, uh, well, you know, a little Rutgers, have to know when to come. little Rutgers action <laughs> right there. 
Uh, I mean, you nailed it on. Uh, this is just a team that wins uh, 20, their top 10 in defensive DVOA, 20, 22 of 24 years, consistency, special teams in the top 10, 9 of 10, and 11 in the last 12 years. You know, I think the angle against this team is that Lamar doesn't have the ability for the offense to take another step. And to what Bowser said, like maybe the, the next step is just him doing even more with his legs. And mm. I, I think he seems to do a good job. He's my number one fantasy quarterback. I, I think he's going to, I mean, look, look, look at what happened to that team last year, the offensive line, everything. And they still won 11 and five. And yes, yeah. he got knocked out of the playoff game and he had to leave a game to take a shit <laughs> and he had to leave, leave a game. That was to take pretty a shit. awesome. But it, and, and they, yeah, they can't come from behind. They were like 22nd in the league when they were down by more than a touchdown. And that's a problem, but, no, but they, but they I, rarely this team play has from a, a lead. Yeah. They have an identity. They, they are well coached Lamar as much as like, maybe he's not that Patrick Mahomes, obviously still really good and in a really good regular season, a quarterback, it, it almost feels disrespectful to say Lamar and Kyler are in the same realm because mm. well, Lamar runs. In, yeah. Hyper has run and and will it continues to run a, a really elite offense There's where no you Branson and Lamar's you know game. what they're gonna do and they still do it. Kyler, on the other hand, we 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 went over that. Go listen to the NFC West preview. What was that, Bowser? Well, no, it's just like with Lamar and the Ravens right now, they kind of remind me of like the NFL version of like a college triple option team where they're bringing something a little bit different to the table each week than everybody else. So that week, your game plan, yeah. you got to practice a little bit differently. It's not just quite the same. And they're, they're physical. They're going to beat you up. Like you're going to be sore going into your next week. It might be an interesting trend to see what teams playing them has done coming off the, on the next week, like, like the last couple of years, because it might take a week to get back into playing normal defense. That's a good nugget. Yeah. And, and they, they very well could be uh, that type of team. All right, Kramer, let's do it. Let's, let's talk uh schedule here. Schedule. All right. Uh, as you noted, Sean, a top 10, most difficult schedule. I'll be honest. I, I did peek at this one ahead of time. Mm. I, I don't know if I, I can totally validate that at Las Vegas, Monday night football, as we know, uh, in opening up the death star <laughs> second week, we got Kansas city at home, Sunday night football. Then we have at Detroit at Denver. Boy, if I'm bullish on this team, hmm. I see a case where they're four and zero because they've beaten Kansas City. Hangover is real. The hangover is real. I'm going four and zero. Yeah, I mean, hmm. I, I don't uh, that Raiders game. Maybe they get up for that. Chiefs are always tough. Um, at Detroit, at huh, Denver's not an you know easy what? road. Maybe game. they lose. I'll three and one. It is, they it, lose the Denver. It is. It is three road games, Ryan. I'll go. I'll go three and one. This is Harbaugh has been good on the road. No, I, I, I don't I know what it. the betting stat is, but he's been a good road. Uh, I call road. that three and one too. I, I they lose either Denver or Kansas All City. Right. So, I, I, Sean, three yes. and one. Yep, three and one. Let's go. Book All right, it. we're we're lockstep there. Next for Indy uh, on Monday Night Football at home. That's a win. Went sucks. Then we have at home against the Chargers. At home against the Bengals. By week at home against the Vikings. Shit. Four straight home games, all very winnable. I thought they had a hard schedule. That, that's what I'm saying. Uh, I uh, think they go four and zero. Yeah, Bowser, what do you think? I could give them. A I, four I think they go four and zero, but you know, Vikings are one of my sleeper picks this Ooh. year in the NFC. Ooh. I could see them creeping up on people. And Mike Zimmer at twenty five to I've seen him at thirty to one, twenty five to one. Mm. He's an interesting coach of the year pick. Just as a Ooh. little side uh, action there for everybody. Yeah, so, I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go three and one. I, I think I think they trip up somewhere there, but that's a very favorable schedule. Uh, I mean that that could they could get really. I hot. think on paper the schedule anyway. Uh, yeah, I think that seven and one starts very, very within reason. And now like what at the, we're looking at eleven on the win total. We're only four away halfway like at, not geez. even halfway yeah. through the season. At Miami on Thursday night, two of sucks. You you hit, at Chicago I, that could be a dumpster mm. fire. Cleveland at home on Sunday night football. Uh, division rival and at Pittsburgh division rival. Uh, I'm going to say, I'm going to say two, two and two. two. I'll say two and two they as well. They split the division and they split the road game. I think maybe we're having questions of Lamar Jackson after I, he uh, loses a game against the uh, now good Cleveland Browns. 
question mark. I'll, mm. I'll give him a three and one there. Whoa. Bowser wow. is hot on this team. I love it. Oh, hot, 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 hot. Hot, 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 hot. I see him dropping it at Steelers, but I, 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 cause I think the hype's going to be building up to him at that point where, and then they'll probably drop a couple in the next like few here. But. All right. So th- this, uh, this stretch here where that we just finished with Cleveland at home at Pittsburgh. Now we're picking up with at Cleveland. So a crazy sandwich spot at Cleveland, green Bay at home at Cincinnati, the Rams at home. Uh, I'm not as bullish on this Rams team. Uh, so I'm going to give them the I think I give him the home game, Sean, and I think I give him w- one of the road games. So let's. T- I'll go. I'll go two and two. I don't think they lose both games to the Browns, and I. No, you know what? I don't have them losing to the Browns. All right, so we'll go three and one. Two and two for me. I'll go two and two too. I think uh, at Cleveland, and probably Green. And I think Green Bay might give it to him. I don't know. Bonus like game, you. week seventeen. Pittsburgh at home, they get it the fuck done because they're playing for the top seed. Baltimore wins. Sean, uh, I actually have the Steelers winning that. Give me the okay. Steelers. A uh, Bowser, uh, I got the Steelers winning. But let's I mean, go. Of course you do. I, I got right. it. I mean, I'm just <laughs> Bowser <laughs> has them sitting at twelve and five. Wow. Sean, you have them sitting at ten and seven. Wow. Feel like you were pretty pessimistic too. Yeah, and I have them uh, sitting at thirteen and four. So wait, you have thirteen and four. Bowser is twelve and five. Yeah, it's just such a hard team to not. Yeah, I mean, I'm technically on the under here at eleven, but I'm not. This is, will not be making its way into my locks. And honestly, I think. I mean, yeah, make the playoffs at minus three hundred. That is the best way to play it. But I at minus three hundred, I'm not touching it. But uh, yeah, you guys are both on the over. Any any futures I, you like there for the Ravens? I might, uh, I might actually take that over. Uh, I guess you know what I'll. This is what I'll play. I'll play Baltimore gets the one seed plus mm. five hundred. Wow, really? Yeah, that's plus five hundred. Okay. I, ha- I wrote down two. I'm only going to give out one. All right. What are you doing the uh, with the other pick? Uh, we'll save it for later, maybe. <laughs> All right. Uh, do you so Bowser? Any futures you like them to win the division, conference, make miss playoffs? I, I don't. There's nothing really. Uh, on, uh, there's on nothing board that there. stands out for me with them. Yeah, because at, at minus three hundred to make the okay. playoffs, last couple of years, cool. I've been having fun doing like a AFC win Super Bowl bet. Around like and then take like the early line like and take it one way or the other like where it's like minus three and a half usually in October depending on what teams are. Coming. I don't know. That's a real. That's, usually, uh, that's a fun future where it doesn't matter. It's a real <laughs> DJ's only yeah. move, Bowser. I love it. <laughs> All right, Kramer, what do you got for your prop bet? Oh, that was my prop bet. Uh, okay. But but yeah, all right, I'll give you a second one. I told you I wrote two down. <laughs> uh Lamar Jackson to break the single season quarterback Ooh. rushing uh touchdown record, which is fourteen and a half. I guess the record's fourteen. Sixteen to one. Wow. All right, that's a big one. Okay, um, actually I did put a prop in on him and I took him uh most uh lead the se- the league in rushing touchdowns. So I was thinking if he's gonna have this crazy one, and that's at seventy-five to one. Whoa! And whoa. So oh, yes. Boston Capper taught me his term of putting football bets on golfers, where it's like <laughs> bet on a guy like how you would during a football game. Yeah. So like these are like what my football bet, but these are a uh, what I call horse race bets. So you yeah. bet like what you would bet on a horse race, and then load up on these seventy-five to one. Fun. Like that's a fun prop with Lamar. You no, know? that like, is. And and how many um. Well, that's interesting to think. So Kramer, you were saying he has to beat the quarterback rushing touchdowns. touchdowns. So that would be 15 touchdowns, which would have been good for second place last year, I think. Yeah, so why not just put some get some onions and be like Bowser and have I, them to lead. <laughs> well, just like uh our great partner props prop swap, I'm going to go for two. <laughs> I'm going to take a little of what I have now and I'm going to th- the Bowser, I I do like. Yeah, that I mean, because if you think he can get to fifteen, he would have. Yeah, I mean, Derrick Henry got it last year with seventeen. It, 
it just seems like there's a version of this. Like they don't have to re-sign him yeah. before the season. I think they. Why? Why not go for well, it? Well, him and his can. mom are negotiating the deal, which is. Oh, that's not gonna work. Not out. not good times there. <laughs> All right, I'm on the opposite side of you guys. Well, not the rushing angle. Lamar Jackson under. 34, 50 and a half passing yards. Really? Yeah. I mean, first off, there's he'll probably get COVID a third time. Oh, Sean. I mean, he's, oh, already, he's wow. already he's already gotten it twice. First sister Jean. Now, now uh, no, I mean, lightning is no. more likely to strike three times exactly. in one place. Than- well, no, clearly COVID doesn't impact him. The guy's fine. Uh, I'm saying it does kind of have the alien, DNA. but I mean, like in his MVP season, Ryan, without looking it up, how many passing yards did he have? Uh, 2,800, 31, 27. So <laughs> yeah, 34 50 is really, there, really high. I mean, he had a really good year last year, 27, 57. The Ravens keep talking about how they want to become a passing team, yeah. but they just don't have the offense. And then Bateman's hurt. Sammy Watkins hurt. Like it's going to throw off their passing game efficiency early in the season. Maybe they get to it They'll later. Figure but it out. No, I think they will. And that's why I think, you know, I got him winning 10, 11 games, but um, yeah, as far as passing yards, that's not how this Ravens team wins. They don't, they, they can say, Oh, we want the deep ball to work out. Okay. Get a new quarterback. Like that's not his game. He, Pussy. he runs the ball and he's an efficient passer short and, and to the middle. They have Hollywood Brown, but you know you've I, seen well, that he, he'll he'll bust a couple. I I love how people are at. Look, how many franchises would love to have thirty five wins over the last three years? No, I There's mean nothing wrong. Solid with, ass team. I don't get these people that have a problem with the way Lamar Jackson plays football. He's fucking awesome. Cincinnati, are you doing something, Sean? Yeah, Ryan. You do, you welcome to something? the show. Uh, brought oh. to you, of course, by Prop Swap. You mentioned Prop Swap, Ryan, going for two. Well, Lamar Jackson, he went for two uh, during a game, but that's not what we're talking about here. We're talking about getting two tickets, one for you to sweat it out, like Bowser's, uh, you know, Lamar Jackson to break the rushing record when we're out no, in Vegas. Lead, that's lead touching. <laughs> Sorry, lead. Yeah, yours is yours is the more fun one. So buy that, but buy two bets of it. You know, if you want to bet two hundred, just get two hundred dollar tickets. Then when he gets off to a hard start, you can sell that guarantee yourself some profit and still have the opportunity to sweat it out. Get started today by going to propswap.com or download the prop swap app. prop swap. It's where America goes to buy and sell sports bets. Hey, I just realized that there's a version of the season where there's a lot of running back injuries and Lamar leads the league at like 12 touchdowns. I mean, look, I, I think, you know, we were, we like uh, Gus said, we're, it, it's just the team knows what they are. Like sometimes it's important to know what lane you're operating in and just be good at that. And look, th- this, there's no reason they can't be the one seed again. I, I really love that plus 500 uh, action Sean. Cincinnati 14, 11 and one. They had a tie last year, Sean. Oh, I know uh, they went under their win total of six. Uh, this was not a good football team without Joe Burrow. It was barely a good team with with him. I think uh, they were a little unlucky, uh, winning one game less than they're expected. Fourth in the division uh, with the twentieth hardest schedule. So it's going to get harder this year. Football Outsiders project the twelve hardest schedule. Uh, key additions, key losses. Uh, Jamar Chase, obviously the big one. Not drafting the lineman, probably yeah. not the right move. Going for the uh, razzle dazzle, uh, you know, and and really the offensive line problems go back to like 2016, and this they're just not trying to solve the problem. So probably uh, not a good sign that they didn't draft the 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 lineman, especially with uh, the rate at which. Joe Burrow got hit last year, Sean. They ran the most. They ran the most. Uh, no backfield uh, in the league. I, I really blanked on that. Empty backfield in the league, and uh, <laughs> no backfield. <laughs> there is no bold backfield. strategy. <laughs> Empty backfield, uh, most in the NFL, and they were. S- Burrow was sacked, or the quarterback was sacked on almost ten percent of the plays. So. 
that's not a recipe for winning. Uh, certainly not a recipe for keeping your quarterback healthy. And then on the defensive side of the ball, uh, yeah, I they don't know. suck. Uh, like, I mean, like at the end of the day, there's probably not much to talk about there. But then you sprinkle in Burrow being hurt. I I yeah. just have a hard time. He and he tore the ACL late, ACL and MCL in December. He's already dealing with in camp. When he feels pressure, he raises his leg. <laughs> It, to me, this uh, is the, Odell it, got fined for that shit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he did it like a dog. This feels like the this team sucks. They bought him out. They yeah. get a top five pick. They they fire Zach Taylor and bring in Joe Brady. This story writes itself. Cincinnati offensive line was thirty one in adjusted line yards. I, I don't know what that means. I just know whatever metric you're at, you're it's that's bad. They're really bad in the trenches. Uh, Establish the run has them twenty six in offensive line. 30th in defensive line. And now everyone talks about how bad their offensive line. The defensive line quietly also really bad. It's not good when you I have mean, a team like Baltimore and Cleveland just running the ball down your throat. They Pittsburgh. were actually kind of fun against the spread 9 and 7, so that's not horrible. Um they were 0 and 3 in 3 point games, so maybe and minus 7 in the turnover margin. So maybe some regression there. I just don't think, I mean, getting to seven wins seems like a massive ass for this team. And, and really quite frankly, I think Zach Taylor, you can make a case worst coach in the league, six, 25 and one, and he's two and 13 in one score game. So I know we said there are three point oh and three and, and in one score games, there were two and five last year, but maybe he's just really bad at one score games and he's a horrible coach. I, well, I mean, I I just it's tough to get excited about this Bengals team. What a, Cincinnati, good town. I yeah, I, no, I, I I wish just, the fans got a team and it and it sucked that that Burrow blew out his ACL because it really gave this franchise hope. But I don't see a ton more hope coming in this year. Bowser, you you got well, any angle? Okay. I know I know the fantasy community is kind of high on them, but I still don't even see that because of. Uh, Burrows, uh, Burrows, kind of high on T. Higgins in fantasy, just because I like him as a big body who's yeah. kind of asserting himself as an as a real like big man alpha receiver in the NFL. Can be a red zone guy, and you can get him reasonably. It, the price he, you can get him at in fantasy right now is pretty good. But uh, no, like I have a feeling like Joe Burrow might end up being the second coming of Derek Carr, or mm. yeah, Ooh, Derek, Derek Carr. Spicy. Wow. Where it's like, dude, like you draft the quarterback number one overall, and you fail to protect them. Yeah. You keep drafting wide receivers instead of drafting linemen. When, dude, if you're going to invest out, like, look at the Steelers. You can always find receivers late. It's hard, dude. Every pro, most of these Pro Bowl, All Pro linemen are usually drafted in the first three rounds or so. It's rare that a, a big time lineman comes out of the late rounds. Like those guys are kind of obvious to spot, and so like receivers can sneakily work their way in there. And take, I mean, I get the angle of Jamar Chase. You know, he was his college teammate, but let's face it, dude, they were already pretty set at receiver. Like yeah. Penny Sewell yeah. from from Oregon, like that was a much better fit for them. And and I think they're going to pay the price for not doing that for for a couple of years now. No, I know, I know, Bengals fans are kind of, you know, bored about hearing the the Penny Sewell thing, but it, sometimes the obvious thing is the thing you should do. I, I get yeah. Jamar Chase is fun, but. That's not what they lack. They didn't lack receivers. It, it okay. really doesn't make any sense. And well, who you got to look at it like this: Who makes the most money in the league? Quarterbacks, and then after that, it's guys that protect quarterbacks and guys that either rush the passer or, or defensive backs. You know, you know yeah, it's like, everything so off of the, the money, dude. Yeah, no, and it's crazy. Uh, follow the money. I love it. We're previewing uh, NFL uh, NFL games. Follow the money. Follow, follow the money. I'll um, give you my CIA black ops theories of NFL. Follow the money. I think, I think you started touching on it though. Like the, the coaching, like, why do we think this coaching staff is good? Why should we trust that they're going to correct 28th anything? in defense? 6.1 uh, opponent yards per play. That, and I don't see anything that, that the coaching staff hasn't changed they're, they aren't doing a ton to bring in a new defensive talent. They're, they're kind of a cheap organization. Hey, overall. Hey, what was it again? Six and a half for the total in them. Yeah, dude, uh, here's, here's what I think. Uh, maybe I would, not only do I lean under on these guys, I would even look as like the uh, Circa was offering different, uh, like mm. alternative, uh, uh yes, total alternate alt spreads. Yeah. Yeah. So dude, like if you can get like under five and a half with these guys, I think that's worth it, dude. Oh yeah. I mean, you might end 
Uh, secretly, I think it, least wins in oh. the uh, NFL, Shh. and maybe Ryan has that Shh. as a prop bet. Let's let's walk through the schedule. Though. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Last, uh, last thing. Um, you back to the coaching. They were uh, fourth in defense in the first quarter, thirty first the rest of the way. What does that tell you? Again, yeah, they just not making adjustments, not able to no. sort it out. And, and and the last thing, because this is important on defense, they gave up five point eight yards per carry against three or more receiver sets, uh, which was worse than the NFL. Most most of the time teams are running out of three wide receiver or more sets. So this Bengals yeah. team has done nothing to, to load up on defense. I think they've loaded up in the wrong parts of offense. Burrow Burrow's is not going to get it done. Let's walk through the schedule chunks. I love, I even thought about like uh last winless team uh, as an option for this Bengals team. The schedule is interesting to start Minnesota at home at Chicago at Pittsburgh. Jacksonville at home Thursday night. Can they get one of those? Can they get one of those? I'll say I'll say one and three. But yeah, I mean, Owen Four is in the three. room. I'll give up Jacksonville at home. Yeah. Are we worried that everyone is going to put the Vikings in their survivor pool and that's what's going to fuck them up? Uh, or I mean, that the, the no, Vikings will blow this game. No, I think that I think there's other options like San Francisco heading to Detroit. Oh, that that's the one that that's I, the, I don't want any part. That's of that the game. Jacksonville Colts game from last year. Uh, I will say, ooh, what are you doing here, Sean? I'm go. I'll go one and three. I'll but go. Oh, and four is in the realm of possible. I'll go one and three as well. Because you also have the Burrow might not be there, you know. So I'll, I'll also go one and three. Bowser. One and three, yeah. I I think they they beat Jacksonville on the Thursday night game. I think that's a Probably, good spot yeah. for them at home. Yeah, Ur- Urban Meyer has no idea. Home how to play Thursday night Thursday. game, you got to win that. All right, yeah. Next. Urban Meyer has no idea they play Thursday night games. Probably <laughs> like there's our uh, next four: <laughs> Green Bay at home, at Detroit, at Baltimore, at the Jets. Ooh. I mean, I guess one and three, but I mean, again, oh four the is one? in the mix. What do you? I'm saying oh and four. Yeah, you're right. Oh, and four. I, I think the Jets. I'm a little bit higher on the Jets. I got them over their win total. So Detroit yeah, Detroit gets them. Uh, I'll go oh and Nine four. Conference road. Game. I'll go oh and four. Detroit's at home. Bowser? They can pound the rock. Uh, I'll go oh and four, dude. Like, oh, I love this. Uh, I kind of, I kind of like Detroit. There's a couple of games here. This is one of them, and I do have Detroit beating San Francisco week one. I already have a money line the, ticket on that one. This, <laughs> oh, that's that's fabulous. Uh, I'm Jared Goff's going to randomly not be horrible, and uh, yeah, and yeah, no, I think there's a, there's a big situation where that happens and people are sleeping on it. So yeah. next for Cleveland at home by week ten at Las Vegas, Pittsburgh at home, the Chargers at home. Uh, where where's the win? On the road <laughs> against the Raiders, uh, it, it Ch- do the charge Chargers better one on and, the road? one and three. <laughs> Where's the one? Uh, I don't know. They they play two division games. I mean, division games you'll get one or two. Oh, I mean, they're not going to lose every Big home ben division doesn't game. Lose in Cincinnati. I'm, That's all. Awesome. I'm going zero and four here, and I'll tell you what. This is where part the part of the season where not drafting an offensive lineman really starts showing up oh, and that yeah. becomes the ringing bell every week in the media about this team. I I'd like to like the Bengals. I just, I just don't see it, man. Well, you're given, you said one in three, I'm going to go. Oh, yeah. and four with Bowser next four. We got San Francisco at home at Denver, Baltimore at home, Kansas this city. Is, at this home. is Owen four. <laughs> This is hilarious. I'll, I'll, I'll give them one and three here. I'll give them San Francisco. Ooh. Uh, I I am big against San Francisco this year. I have uh, done alternate bets on them at up to under eight and a half, and I got that at like plus two sixty. So oh, I'm getting hot to oh four oh and four. Oh, hot, 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 hot. you going oh and four? I'm going oh and four. Yeah. Or no, no one and three, one and three. One and I'll three. give them a win at home against San Francisco. All right. Well. uh Bonus game, week seventeen, week eighteen at Cleveland. Jesus Christ, loss. Yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go loss. Bowser, loss. Yeah, I mean, all right. So, Sean, uh, you have them going two and fifteen. No, really. 
<laughs> what? <Do> you <laughs> Bowser has them going uh, two and fifteen, and Sean, you wouldn't believe this. I have them going one and sixteen. <laughs> All right. Oh uh, reminder for tomorrow: uh, make make a graphic with Bengals records. <laughs> so what we're we're saying here is the the lowest number you can find on these guys take it. <laughs> what? Hold on now. Hold. Well, I. Yeah, so let me give up my. But I pro- like them to win the division. Hold on, let me <laughs> twenty-five to one. Let me. <laughs> no, let me- so obviously no futures because even at minus seven fifty to make the playoffs, I'm, I'm not laying seven fifty. No. I mean, even though I think that's fine, to me the prop bet that I love Zach Taylor first coach fired twelve to one. Ooh. I mean, if if they start off slow or if or if um, Joe Burrow gets banged up again because uh, of his scheme. I mean, how this guy's leash is really short. Like I said, six twenty-five and one. I mean, I know the Bengals take it slow, but man, he—he's a guy they're not talking about on they're, the. Hot they're going to beat Jacksonville Week Four, and that's it. I, I think. I, I, I mean, <laughs> again, I, I think first coach fired is a real fun bet. Kramer, wow. what do you got? What do you got futures wise oh, or uh, they, prop bet for for them to have the least amount of wins plus seven fifty. Oh wow! Okay. 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 But now I like Bowser's angle. But too, I think though. first coach fired. I almost like that a little bit better than least wins. Am I crazy? Ah, uh, well, if they hard to if they get least wins, he's certainly been fired. Well, no, I I don't. But think he might so. not be the I first. I think they could be. Oh, you think they'll let him rebuild again? No, no, no. I think they'll be like one and nine. They'll fire him, mm. and then maybe they'll win a couple games so they don't actually get least number of wins. Like they where, seem, where are the they, wins? You they, saw that schedule. No, but I'm saying like they have Jets vibes to me, where they would fuck up mm, getting okay. the first overall pick towards the end. They need a lineman. It would be useful to have a pick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, right. unless they want to have another car brother other than. Uh, <laughs> no, I I got a I, yeah I like seeing like taking this like as let's say not only under six and a half, if I can find under five and a half, under four and a half, Ooh. I might even <laughs> pound it all the way under three and a half. <laughs> oh, that is. That is like a, dude, they would give you like plus five hundred on that most likely plus four fifty. No, I mean like it's that. insane on a seventeen game season. But again, I I don't see how you. I Where just, do you find four wins in this in that schedule? What, what the win total six and a half? Yeah, what seven they, what? wins is just goddamn crazy. Yeah, it's insane, dude. Like you got you got to take the under on this, but like I think there you can go even further under. But here's my uh, my my horse race prop for this one Ooh. is I took a because I think they're going to be getting blown out quite a bit, and they might have some garbage time kings on their on their roster fantasy wise, and so I went with T Higgins lead leading uh, receiving touchdowns. Guess what I got that at? What's that? Ninety to one. Wow, Bowser, I love that you know how to show up with. Uh, when we say show up with props, you, you understand what we're asking for. Not these like <laughs> yeah, uh, over under. No, I was thinking about it. I could I could easily come in here with some chalky play. No, fuck yeah. that, dude. I'm I'm bringing some hot ones in. Hot, spicy. And, and real quick, you can get Bengals uh, three or less wins plus two twenty five. That doesn't even feel like a great price. No, I, I'm telling you, first coach fired. Is that or even move? even at seven and a half to one, if it's three or less wins. You're you're right up there with the I least was, wins in the in the league. I was trying to see uh, if I could find any of those alt. Oh, here we go. Alt spread. You know, I can see them like if it's like three and a half. Like, oh. can you imagine hitting that where you win it on a tie? Oh yeah. <laughs> under five. All right, so uh, I, I'm seeing a, a one win less under five and a half is plus one forty five. I mean, again, I. I don't know where you're finding six wins, seven. Set. We'd have to have seven wins. Is how we lose, Sean. Uh, we need to bet on seven this. and ten. We need oh to. We need to bet more than we've ever bet in our life. Add this to the one, list, right? Do we put one BTC on this? Let's go. We don't fuck around. <laughs> no, we don't, Ryan. You know who else doesn't fuck around? Our buddies over at Pixwise. That's right, it's Pixwise. Number one home of free sports betting picks, props, and parlays helmed by a team of trend watching, data devouring sports fanatics, giving you the who, how, and why behind every prediction. I'm talking to you, DJs only. That's right. You like free picks? Of course. You like free podcasts? Of course. That's why you're checking out ours. 
There's plenty of content out there in the world and highly suggest checking you checking out pickswise.com. Every game, every day, every sport. And again, the price is great. It's free. That's it's just that easy, guys. Pickswise backs responsible gambling. If you or someone you know wants help, call 1 800 Gambler and check them out. Pickswise.com. Kramer Brown's time. Cleveland. All right. So Cleveland 11 and five last year going over their total of nine and a half. Uh, they, they were, they were a pretty good team. Seems like they got a, a coach now, like a real coach, uh, Stefanski. He, he's even got a nice, like coach beard, a uh, little concerning uh, Odell Beckham coming back this year. The win total 10 and a half minus one ten each way plus one fifty for them to win, win the division plus 800 to win the AFC 1600 to win the super bowl plus 175 to miss the playoffs minus 225 to make all right so what did they do in the off season they they uh they brought in some guys i, I we we like Newsom in the draft i think we like the linebacker he's been lighting it up uh, awuso koromoa is that did i say that right and he's been lighting up in the preseason looks great i mean I, absolutely honestly like i'm excited to see him play uh, I'm kind of getting excited to see this Browns team play. Maybe it's cause the giants are practicing with them. Right. Uh, <laughs> as we're recording this and I'm just, a, a, I, this Browns team might be really good. And, and, and uh, Sean, I'll let you start, but I, I, it's hard. You know, when you try to, again, you try to make uh, cases ag- against yourself mm. to find uh, ways. And I'm usually a Browns hater. Usually you're usually a Browns hater. I s- will firmly say, Hey, this is Cleveland uh, with expectations. You really don't want to get behind that. But then you look at the team. You, you look at the, you look at the fact that, yeah, sure. They have a harder schedule, uh, but oh man, this is a well put together team. And then boom, you get to the end. And I, I started with this and end with this. Odell Beckham's coming back. Odell Beckham's coming back. And sometimes people are just mushes. Yes. And sometimes <laughs> cities, no offense, LeBron James ain't walking out that tunnel. Sometimes <laughs> cities have a hard time getting over the hump. And it is Cleveland with expectations. Oh, Sean, tell me, give me some. Well, Ryan, we were just in the great uh, city of Akron. Shout out to the Hall of Fame. Shout out to the fantasy football expo. Shout out to all the Browns fans, cocky Browns fans, right? Never again. 2021 is uh, we're seeing new things, experiencing new things. Cleveland Browns, Ryan, the only NFL team to make it to the playoffs with a negative point differential. They had a positive turnover margin plus five that could regress four and O in three point games. Now, maybe one of those games, if Nick Chubb wasn't a loser and ran out, that's uh, true. Before he, he had the touchdown, literally everyone, uh, when Blue Wire um, podcasts on social media, they tweeted out the graphic of who are you betting on to win the division. Literally every, I, I feel I, I had trouble finding. No one said Ravens. No one said Steelers. Everyone said Browns. The the internet public. is backing the Cleveland Browns. No. The public is backing the Cleveland Browns. They have a they have a really good offensive line. They have two good, really good running backs. I still don't think Baker is an elite quarterback, but he, they have a good defense. Miles Garrett. Um, they should be tough at home, but Baker, he actually struggled against pressure 33 in yards per attempt and 31 or 31st in the league in passer rating when dealing with pressure. Again, it just comes back to the Cleveland Browns with expectations. Odell Beckham is a monkey wrench in that offense. I don't care what anyone says. So I think this team is solid, but dude, the win total is fucking insane. We are getting plus odds, almost two to one, for the Cleveland Browns not to make the playoffs. Only twice since 1987 have they won 11 or more games. You're going to tell me they're going to do it back to back years? No thanks. No fucking thanks. Yeah, I mean, Bowser. Bowser, chime in. I, you guys kind of laid out what I was gonna say already, but like Sean really touched on it there with like four and zero in the close games, uh, like like the negative point difference. There's gonna be some regression on their part this season, like even with the extra game, and 
uh, getting me to take a Cleveland team, like, no, I mean, Hey, I, I've been a Cleveland hater my whole life, but dude, like them going, winning 11 games twice in a row. Like, come on, that that's not happening. Yes. Like, that's, like that's just not happening. Like, and again, I think, you know, this, this 10 year- and seven, still a good year for them. I mean, seriously. No, I, I, yeah. I mean, um, I think it's fun to take the no playoff uh, angle at, at plus one seventy five, probably. But really, and maybe I don't. Maybe I don't even mess with that because they could easily make the playoffs at ten and seven, and that probably sounds right. But again, getting over ten and a half. Same reason why I'm slightly on the on the Ravens under. Like these high double digit win totals are just tough. Maybe my brain isn't able to factor in these double digit win totals in a seventeen game season. We can walk through the games, but I, I, eleven games. You're betting money that the Browns will win eleven games. I mean, I, I mean, even that Eagles game that they won, they, the Eagles gave them that game. Like it just feels like there were so many opportunities for when, them to lose games that they, you know. When you're betting teams to go over these outlying numbers yes. of eleven wins, they have to be elite. Right or you have to have some expectation of of output. Uh, when we were talking about the Ravens, we trust that their defense is going to be in the top ten because their defense is always in the top ten. It's reliable. Yeah. Cleveland bad defense last year, twenty fifth in DVOA, uh, specifically bad against the pass. Not sure. Uh, you know, bringing in a rookie. Rookies generally uh, do what at cornerback their first year. Sean, they generally suck. Uh, and that's okay, but uh, he could be a good guy, a good cornerback. But he's he's probably not going to be great this year. He's probably not going to fix the defense. And uh, while we would expect their defense to do a little bit of regressing, just because defenses tend to do that, I don't think Jadavian Clowney is going to be no. the solution. A- and on the offensive side, they're not this elite unit that people want to crown them as. I think they're a good unit. Yeah, the very good offensive think, line, good running, you know, decent I, passing off of play action. I think Odell Beckham creates some areas that make them harder to defend, and I think he also creates some issues uh, for where the ball needs to be distributed to. And the best version of this offense probably runs the ball forty-five times a game, but I wonder if they're going to be able to always be playing with the lead. And much like we said with the Ravens. And how they struggled from playing uh, catch up. The Browns, I think, are going to have to play catch up a lot, which means Baker is going to be pushed into the limelight, like, not going to be able to run 45 times a game uh, because this defense is not good. And and that's the big difference to me between the Ravens and the Browns is the quality of the defense. And that's going to cost you, you know, is that two to three losses over the course of the season? Probably. And and you sprinkle in the city of Cleveland and Odell Beckham. Yes, please. All right. Are we walking through? Yeah, let's go. All right, Browns at Kansas City, week one. Houston at home week two. Uh Chicago at home week three. And then at Minnesota. This feels like two and two, right? Two and two. I'm gonna go two and two. Yep. Yeah, I mean that that Vikings game. That's a game the Vikings win. Uh, yeah, that actually is. I mean, unless look, I mean, Cleveland would have to step up and become an elite team to, to do better than two and two there. At uh, at Chargers, Arizona at home, Denver at home on Thursday night, Pittsburgh at home, three home games in a row there, uh, all pretty winnable. Cleveland, Pittsburgh, uh, there's bad blood. I feel like Pittsburgh is being a little disrespected too. Uh do we want to try to be optimistic with this team? Cause that would be three and one, right? I'll go two and two, two and two. I'm two and two. Yeah. They're just not, I don't know. The Browns are, uh, maybe, and maybe the Browns I'm going to say three and one, you know, they did, they did beat the Steelers in the playoffs, but yeah, I don't know at Cincy at new England, Detroit at Baltimore on Sunday night mm. football. Uh, this, I mean, probably two and two here. Yeah. The road games. I mean, they should beat the Bengals. At New England, at New England's not. I mean, New England at home still be interesting. You know, they should maybe they beat Bengals and Lions. Uh, I think at Baltimore is going to be tough. It's it's a weird spot for them. Two and two is fair. Yeah, I think but, two and two. Yeah. Next four, we've got 
by late bye week, week 13, Baltimore at home, Las Vegas, the Raiders at home, at Green Bay on Christmas, and then at Pittsburgh on Monday night. That is a brutal stretch. Two and two. Go one and three. I was going to say, I'm going to lean, I'm going to say, I want to be optimistic though, because I want to see. All right, let's go two and two. Two and two feels very optimistic there. Bowser, one and three. John, two and two. And the bonus game is Cincy at home. I think we all have this as a win for the yep. Browns. Let's go. All right, Sean, you have nine and eight. That feels right for the Browns. And that feels like a solid season. Bowser has eight and nine. And yeah, I yeah. <laughs> I was uh, as optimistic as I could be, and I have ten and seven. Yeah. And they're all under. You know what I mean? And on Sean, I'll I'll be honest. I'll, I I went at least a win over where oh, I where you thought. I mean, I I feel like I gave them two coin flips. Yeah, no, I feel really good about the under here. I, I, maybe I'll stay away from uh, make playoffs. And rarely do you see numbers that far or off. Uh, you know, with the the stat nerds and the books, Sean. But you know what the Football Outsiders has them projected to be wins wise, yeah. mean wins. Eight point six. Yeah, that's. I mean, if that's not moving the number, what's the that? What's that tell you? The public is coming in heavy on this Browns team. Oh yeah, the 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 Brown. I, it is. It's funny to see the Browns be such a uh, such a public team. As far as it's like oh, people forgot. As what I like, uh, prop bet. Give me under. Nine hundred and twenty-five and a half. Odell Beckham Jr. receiving oh. yards. He just doesn't have a good connection with Baker. I mean, I like his under, his his receiving no. touchdowns, his receptions, and he's he just has a knack for getting hurt or or dealing with some bullshit. I, I mean, I'm all over the under on Beckham. Kramer, where you at? No, I, you also on there? I, I've faded him in many different ways. I hadn't faded the yardage yet. That was the the way. I would also suggest if you can find Jadavian Clowney, if someone's hanging a, a, a sack prop on Clowney, I'll uh, yes, whatever it is, take the under. Bowser, where are you at? Okay, so uh, I, I like your angle there, Sean, of them missing the playoffs at plus one seventy five. I think that's a strong play. Yeah, you know what? Let's let's throw that into the uh, into the old futures tab. But I, I was kind of going back and forth on play it. for this for mm, this team is. And I and with you, I'm kind of fading the offense on this one too, but uh Baker Mayfield most interceptions. Ooh. At 44 to 1. Yeah. And my, my reasoning there is, you know, he's not gonna he's, he's not gonna leash. get benched. They're gonna ride or die with him all year. And they could be in a lot of blowouts, and he could be throwing some ducks late. Like there could be some just some Hail Marys that go awry at the end of you know, at the end of games and stuff that just end up padding that sat for him. Okay. No, I mean, it, that's what you have to find is a quarterback whose job's clearly safe. I mean, it's it's forty four to one for a reason because yeah. I don't think they're going to let him throw that many interceptions because you have Chubb and Kareem Hunt. But there's certainly a world where yeah yeah they're not going to get rid of him. They're going to keep him in there. I, I uh, yeah I, forty four to one. You could definitely talk me into some Baker. And, right? and once again, I'm enjoying that that Bowser's bringing this to us. Oh, dude, I love it. It's all, it's all, uh, hashtag Dejans only. Kramer, Pittsburgh on deck. But before we do, let's hear about the beautiful game. The summer of soccer continues on Paramount Plus. Stream over 2,000 soccer matches a year from around the world. That's all the heart pounding drama from CBS Sports, including UEFA Champion League, Champions League, Europa League. Italy, Serie A, Argentina's Primera División, the Brasileiro, NWSL, the Asian Football Confederation, and the CONCACAF qualifiers featuring the stars from the U.S. and men's U.S. and Mexican men's national teams, plus much more. It's the best of the beautiful game with all the beautiful names like Messi, Mbappe, Ronaldo, Rapino, and Pulisic. Be part of the excitement as champions are crowned and history is made. The world's game lives here on Paramount Plus. Visit ParamountPlus.com to start your free trial and stream every match live. Let's go, Steelers. Uh, woo. Pittsburgh Steel. Sean, 12 and 4. The win total was nine. Do you yeah. remember that? Oh, dude. I, I'm pretty sure yeah. I was on the over. 
We, I, we'll I usually to, like this. Uh, we'll have to get the historians. I, I was not, them out. There's no way I was taking the Steelers to go eight and eight last year. Cause I was, I feel like I was all over them. Mike Tomlin, awfully professional as oh. a coach. Eight and a half is the win total this year. Plus one twenty on the over, minus one forty on the under. Uh, a lot to do with the uh, the health and uh, how many games can Big Ben play? Division plus five hundred conference. The AFC plus twenty five hundred forty five to one to win the Super Bowl. Make the playoffs? Yes, plus one forty. No, minus one seventy five. Uh, when you look at the uh, the who's coming in, who's coming out. Uh, this team solidified. They clearly uh, got a little bit of a message from management saying, "Hey, let's run the goddamn football." Pound the rock. They draft the running back out of, out of Alabama in the first round. Who? Yeah, I'll give him that. He's looked all right in the preseason. They drafted Friar Muth, Sean's guy, the tight end out of Notre Dame. Uh, they lost. He's one of those guys who will get penetration. It's all about the line. It's all about the offensive line. Like, did they do anything to replace? Uh, can the offensive line improve? Can they run block? Will it matter that they got a running back? Uh, will it matter uh, if Big Ben can play the whole season if the offensive line doesn't let him? Uh, to me, this is a, a very interesting conundrum. Uh, it, on one hand, you have Mike Tomlin teams who just they get it done. Mike Tomlin is a professional fucking coach. You look anyone who has Tomlin anything- 145. 78 and one, and he's never had a sub 500 Stevens. And even with Mason Rudolph and Duck Hodges all the time, there's a certain, uh, you know, coach for the 49ers who, uh, oh, hey, his, his quarterback was injured. Of How? course, they're going to win. How? They're going to lose all their games. And great coaches find ways to win, even Sean, when they have shitty quarterbacks. He had Antonio Brown and Le'Veon Bell in the same guy. We didn't know Antonio room. Brown was crazy. That's how good he was coach. playing for the Steelers guys. That's an underrated uh, characteristic to have from your head coach. Again, uh, the 2019 season really stands out as the aberration only eight and eight, uh, just, just a team that gets it done. And, and I think when you look, uh, you have arguably the best defensive lineman in the league and TJ Watt, you have a defense that should be getting after it. And then you have an offense that I, as long as big Ben is out there, Sean, yep. as long as big Ben's out there, I trust this team to move the ball. So uh, when I see the win total, I, I I'm curious to see here what Bowser has to say. I'm curious to see what you, to hear what you have to say. Oh, thank you. But uh, this one is a very perplexing win total because lots of risk in Big Ben. But but Mike Tom, like Mike Tomlin almost doesn't need Big Ben to get there. Bowser, we're crushing well, I, the over, right? Okay, yeah, I'm taking the over big time. Like especially in a 17 game season with eight and a half, you're saying. Oh, I have to bet you're giving me, and I think it was a plus one Oh five. Was it? Yeah. Was oh, like, no. oh, I plus gonna, 120 on plus the over juice that uh, Mike Tomlin's not going to have a losing season. Yeah, like, give that crazy. to me uh, every, every time. They, they, but they, I they, think, I think people are talking too much about big Ben with this team and where he's at, because I think this defense is that good. And I yeah. think they're, they're getting disrespected. Dude. Yep. No, I, and I, in, I think their defense is truly elite. And uh, we'll, I'll save one of my picks here for the prop bets when we get to that. But again, they were number one in pressure and number one in sacks. And you throw in again, as we're doing these division previews, highlighting teams that are going to benefit from the home field advantage. I think a lot of these teams in the division, I think the Ravens will benefit. I think the Browns will benefit as well, but I think the Steelers really will benefit as well. I mean, to me, the Steelers and the Seahawks actually have a lot in common where you have this quarterback head coach combination. You have a legit home field advantage that you didn't really get to use last year. You started out hot. Then you kind of cooled off. You lost your first game in the playoffs against a divisional opponent that you shouldn't have lost to. There's really a lot of similarity between these two teams and they just have a, they have a pedigree. They have a consistency. Um, again, second in opponents yards per play in 2020. Um, they're just big Ben lost weight. Like he seems like uh, by all accounts in the best shape he and, and we'll see, we'll see if that matters, but what they need to, I heard Peyton Manning in the hall of fame game talking about how he needs, you know, he got to the point at end of his career where he realized I just need to be a game manager 
rely on this running game and defense in Denver and yeah. we can win a Super Bowl. You know, and that, and that's the formula for the Steelers this year. Go back to their roots. Go back to what they did in Ben's rookie year where they went to 15 and 1 and went to the conference championship game. Yeah. Pound the rock as hard as you can cuz I, I like Benny Snell too. I mean in, in addition to Najee Harris, but like he's the big draft pick, but Benny Snell should be getting 10 15 carries a game, I think. Well, and it, maybe it's McFarland. It, I think I think the other thing is that the type of throws that Ben excels at they don't necessarily need a ton of arm strength. And, and, no. you know, you, you watch the way that he trusts Deontay Johnson, Cl- chase Claypool, clearly up and coming. They, ha- they have a good set of receivers. So it's, it's really hard to see. I mean, even if this team wants to slow it down, I think they have an opportunity uh, to, to, to be fine. Uh, Sean, did you know, big Ben, the only uh, member of his division that doesn't have a Heisman trophy. <laughs> oh, wow. Un- unfortunate wow. for that, uh, for, for big Ben there. But yeah, I, I, uh, I just, it, it just seems like it's so hard to want to take a future on this Steelers team because big, I, I, I have no confidence. Big Ben can get through the season. Well, in the, their offensive line, they only had one lineman that's, that's who is top good. 120. According to PFF, which whatever they're worth, uh, yeah. So again, the the argument is the offensive line, but again, their offensive line kind of sucked last year, and they still figured out how to win twelve games. I mean, I think all offensive lines sucked last year. Yeah, and again, they could be nine and eight and and hit this. Like their their win total was eight and a half, or sorry, their win total was nine last year. They won twelve games, and the win total went down a half. This is all just public reaction. And this is all recency bias. They saw them get their ass kicked by the Browns at yeah, home in the playoffs. That's it, really. And they think all of a sudden that means, you know, Tomlin and and Big Ben are worthless. And I wanted to, you know, we came into this. We we've talked about Matt Canada and, you know, his ties to McFarland from the DS DFS pr- perspective, but we want to bet on Matt Canada to to be able to be creative with this offense, and I think they have the skill positions to to you again. Know, if Big Ben can stay healthy, this is a no brainer over. It's it's yeah. not it's not my prop, but I still kind of like it. The number's probably a little short, but again, it shows why you should be high on the Steelers team. T.J. Watt seven to one to win Defensive Player of the Year. I, I mean, come on, uh, it's uh, seven to one, Num- meaning like. This guy's gonna be really good. Th- so they do have the number. TJ Watt wrecked shop. They they do have the number one or number two uh, projected schedule strength of schedule, but uh, yeah, again, like like Bowser said, this is an elite defense with an elite pass rush, and yeah. they they shouldn't need they, they they don't need to be the highest scoring team. And and again, talking about Cleveland, right? Like w- why we don't like Cleveland and Cincinnati is they're not going to be able to stop these teams. And on the other side of the ball, it's going to be very tough to score points. This is going to be a throwback. I'm excited to see the Raven Steelers game this year. Honestly, uh, Sean, well, TJ we- Watt, 15 sacks last year, and that was without you know a home a home field noise. Now imagine that offensive line having to deal with the crowd noise when TJ Watt's coming off the edge. <laughs> Let me just throw in here that the Steelers defense was not the same last year when Devin Bush went down. Having yeah. that speedy inside linebacker that covered sideline to sideline changed the com- change the dynamics of the defense. And like when he's in there, it's a completely different team because you have him and then Fitzpatrick behind him and, and it allows Watt to just run wild off the edge. And there's like, like yeah, with and, him and healthy. TJ Watt really was kind of the top three defense. TJ Watt sure. was kind of holding out, but he, he got his deal done, so he's uh, good to go. Yeah. Wah, player empowerment. All right. Should we go through the schedule? Let's do it. Pittsburgh at it or uh, at Buffalo Las Vegas at home, Cincinnati at home at green Bay. Holy Toledo. That is a start, Sean. Yep. What do you got him going at yep. Buffalo Vegas at home Bengals at home at green Bay? Are they two and two? Uh, I, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm, I'm starting to like the them plus seven week one against Buffalo. Don't yeah. want to spoil the pick show. Uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Hmm. Let's go through. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna go three and one. Three and one. Let's go three and one. No, guys, I just realized we'll be watching this game together. Yeah, in Las Vegas. Hell yeah. And so, uh, I, I, I got, I got them going three and one. I think they, I, I think they lose that first one against Buffalo. Honestly, Ooh, I think they man. keep it close, but. 
I think they sneak up on Green Bay. And I think Green Bay could be a team to fade this year. Ooh. Like, that is a spice coming take. coming with some serious spice here, Bowser. I did my NFC North last week for my show, so uh, I, I got a lot of hot hot takes over there. Up, next, up in that way. Next four: Denver at home, Seattle at home, bye week, week seven, at Cleveland, Chicago at home on Monday night. That Seahawks game was Sunday night football. Three home games in this stretch. Three Sean. and one. Three and one. They're a good home team. <laughs> yep. Three and one. The Seattle game is going to be a tricky one, but I'm also going to go three and one. Are we being a little too high on this team right now? Mm, Feels not like me. we might be, be I'm, too high. I like him. Detroit. No, you can't go too high on defense when you're dealing with elite defenses. Like we're erring on the side of caution when it comes down to it, really. And Ben owning teams in Ohio. Chicago at home. Uh nope, we just did that one. Detroit at home at the Chargers on Sunday night at Cincinnati, Baltimore at home. Well, they're gonna beat Baltimore here. We'll, we'll split them there. They're going to take Cincinnati. Again. I'd say three and one, three and yeah, one, three and one Jeez. big Ben's old ass body on the West coast road trip. They could, yeah, he think could he gets up. any, uh, yeah, he'll get some nice handies at a good Wilshire <laughs> Boulevard. No, he doesn't joint. do that. He I takes mean, care of himself. That's how he, he blew his elbow out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. As like you said, he was admitted, he admitted he was addicted to pornography. They yeah, go. dude, you need to like, you need to keep him in handies. That's the key to the season. <laughs> Think we'll see any uh, DNPs load management <laughs> at, at Minnesota. When to come. At Minnesota on Thursday night, coming off that Baltimore game, ooh, that's a that's a spot we maybe we're fading. Yeah, maybe actually, we're fading that's a real there. tough schedule spot. Tennessee at home mm. at Kansas City. It's Cleveland a little tough here. At home, two uh, and Monday two. Night. I, I'm gonna say. Boy, this this is tricky. If they, especially if Ben goes down and around this time, yeah, I'm gonna say two and two. I'm going to go two and two as well. Uh, that's a really, really tough part of the schedule. That's doing like a, that's like a Roddy Dangerfield bit. It gets so a little respect on how, mm, how tough wow. that is. Okay. At Baltimore bonus game week 18. Uh, we're going to give them a, a, a L there because I gave Baltimore the win. You guys both gave Pittsburgh the win. Let's go baby. Sean, I'm going to give them the win. Sh- Sean, uh, you have them at 12. Twelve and five and five. That's that's the right answer. Bowser twelve and five, and I have them at eleven and six. Twelve and five. So technically a worse season than they had last year. Twelve and four, and yet I'm still clearing the win total by three and a half. I I mean this is an over of all overs. Are we are, are we distributing too many wins? I guess we balanced it out with the Bengals. Yeah, when, no, we loaded when I first up. On- looked at this, uh, I was like, the Bengals under and the Steelers over were the two that made the most sense to me. Oh, okay. Thirty-three wins is actually probably right there because you divide it by four. I mean that it, that's what I have. I have I have a uh, thirty-three wins between the division. So yeah, about eight per team. That sounds about right. I I love them to win the division at five to one. That is uh, that is a future I'm all over. Uh, I'm at thirty-six. Yeah, well, Ryan, you're you know. Woo! It's smoking my weed. What, gotta, get your, gotta get your gotta get your gotta get your papers in order. I and prop bet, drum roll, please. Pittsburgh Steelers to be the number one AFC seed, thirty Ooh. to one. Okay. Thirty Ooh. to one. Now, come on, it, it's it's thirty to one, but. Uh, Twenty-five to one to win the conference. I'd rather take them thirty to one to be the number one seed. Honestly, I think that to me is an easier path because some of these games, you know, if they can get to thirteen and four, maybe maybe Kansas City, maybe Buffalo have a couple of injuries. Yeah. I I just think to me they're a top. It's a long four. shot. Yeah, For I mean it's thirty to one, mm-hmm. but I I think I have them as like a top four, top five team. In the AFC, so I, I just don't think the division should the odds should be that long. So, to take um, the this is where you play the exact forecast, right? Mm. Isn't this where you go Ravens one, Steelers two, something like that? Well, no, not for me because I have Steelers winning the division. I'm sorry, Steelers one, Ravens uh, two. What 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 do you think that pays? Yeah, because that well, eight I mean, eight to one, baby. I have Bengals last, so 
But just doing top two. Well, Steel- I may as Steelers well, won. If I'm gonna do the top two, I feel like the other two fall in pretty easily there. I mean, come on, Ryan. Let's be honest. Uh, I, I have the Browns better than the Bengals. I don't think that's any crazy hot take. My hot take <laughs> is the Steelers better than the Ravens. So if I'm gonna play the exact, I'm gonna play it all. All right, that, it's it's only a little bit better, nine to one. Yeah. See, well, I guess I shouldn't even bother. <laughs> then. All right, Bowser, all right. you got any uh, prop bets for your Steelers? Yeah. The oh, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a wheel on them: division, Woo! conference, and Super Bowl. Let's go. So think, what What are the Super Bowl odds again? Let's see. I think here. It's Forty-five to one. There. Forty-five so, yeah, to could, one. I, that is love. I did mental note it when 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 I saw that they were five to one to win the division and twenty-five to one to win the AFC. Yeah. If there's a team. Even at his uh, age, that could pop their head up. I, that maybe no, I'm, I'm just holding on to the past. But no, but the, but Bowser made a good case comparing yeah. him to the old ass Manning, who, and yeah, I, I think his arm is better than Peyton Manning's noodle arm. And well, yeah, he and maybe have. and maybe their defense isn't quite that. <laughs> that Denver defense was pretty. Yeah, no. <laughs> he couldn't move. Like, he couldn't fucking throw. They, they got to work on that fusion. No, I, I think, think it that, added that Denver a, team's the blueprint for this team to have success this yeah. year. Yeah. All right. My prop. <laughs> oh no, no, I got a couple more though. Oh, I got I'm sorry. Uh, TJ Watt. This is my chalky prop. I got TJ Watt plus six fifty to be the sack leader. Ooh. And then uh here's my uh, horse race pick is uh Chase Claypool lead in receiving yards. Cause we know how so many so many of these second year receivers have a big breakout. Lead receiving yards, thirty seven to one. <sighs> So many fun bets here. We're giving we're giving the listeners so many opportunities to enjoy <laughs> the National Football League. Sean, you want to hear my prop? You're gonna love this. Most points in September. This is a Ooh. heads up matchup. So this is weeks one, two, and three. Yeah. I I'm taking the Steelers at minus one forty five versus the Saints. Steelers have at Bills. That could be a bit Ooh. of a shootout. Hosting the Raiders. Oh yeah, that's good that's part. a crappy defense. Hosting the Bengals. Yes, that's a crappy defense. New yeah, they Orleans. Could, they could win it off that uh, that Bengals bet alone. New Orleans has Green Bay at home at Carolina. Those aren't the best. And then at New England, I certainly like my chances with the fact that it could be Taysom Hill taking snaps in New Orleans. So. Yeah, I mean, there's like a. I think the Saints team could be like a grinded out. I ugly. was shocked. I was shocked to see that price. Yeah. That's my prop, Sean. Yeah. That's my prop, Sean. All right. That's that's Ryan's prop. And that is our podcast. Except we gotta do some locks. Brought to you by <laughs> Underdog Fantasy. Go to underdogfantasy.com, promo code SGPN for a free $25 for the best ball mania two. You can use it for a chance to win one million dollars. I'll lock up my uh my first picks. Give me the over on the Steelers and the under on the Bengals. I mean, I'm so yeah. far off market on those two. I'll join you on that. Yeah, and and I'm gonna throw. I'm dare I say the win the division Steelers is a lock as well. So those are those are ones I really like. I mean, Browns would be second, and then the the thing I feel least good about is the under on the Ravens. But Bowser, where you at? What do you what are these you like the best? You know, I, I, as much as I want to be a big homer here, I'm going to just be a hater and I'm going to fade the Ohio teams to just nice. the, uh, under on the <laughs> Browns, the under on the Bengals. Uh, why are these numbers so high? I mean, I, I know why they're so high on the Browns. People are very high on them, but let's fade the public there and let's just take the free money on the Bengals. That's, that's, that's good stuff. Let's do it. All right. That you was, don't, I don't get to make picks. Oh yeah. Sorry. What well, are your well, locks? Jesus I, you said I'll um, join you. I thought those were your locks. In the corner, <laughs> oh, I, I, sorry. I meant I'll join you on the bangles for sure. Okay. I mean that we, we all, we collectively gave them five wins <laughs> and they need six and a half on one, on one schedule. We gave it three times and they still couldn't get to, to six and a half. And I, honestly, let's uh, let's dig a little bit. Ah, uh, yeah, like g- give me the give me the uh I almost feel like the Ravens to me. Give me the Ravens over over 11. I Wow, that is high. I I don't when's the last time they only won 10 games? Last year? No. 2 years ago? No. Oh, they won 11 last year. Yeah, they would have so 11 and 5. Yeah, no, if you're yeah, I'm just saying it's high. I got I, I just can't lock up the Steelers cuz if Big Ben goes down, I think it is going to be tough for them. I mean, well, I mean if Lamar Jackson went down, 
But Big Ben, Trace like, McSorley's gonna get them to twelve big, wins. Big Ben could fall off the <laughs> fall off the wagon well, I, I and have it. a have a little uh, accident with uh, with Pornhub and some some uh, sand between paper. his motorcycle know. riding and addiction issues. He lives a he lives a dangerous uh, lifestyle. But uh, I uh, I really I really like the the Steelers to make the playoffs plus plus one forty. Mm. That I it just with the extra playoff team with the way this team's going to play defense, it's hard to see that uh, to see that happening. Yeah, because they can get in. Well, and yeah, yeah I mean they're they're over is plus one twenty. So for I I mean I actually almost like them uh, just take the over at eight and a half at plus one twenty because if they go nine and eight, there's maybe a world where they don't get in the playoffs. Uh, and I would still take that plus one twenty over that making the playoffs, but it, it, it's close there. Hey, Sean, by the way, I really love that plus one seventy five Browns missed the playoffs. Yeah, I feel like that's that, pretty that, fun. I, I almost want to sneak that in there. The, I mean, come on, it's the fucking Browns. <laughs> yeah. How many times have they made the playoffs? Do we really? I, do I gotta do I gotta break out that chart? Bernie. I think Kozar. the last time they made the playoffs in back to back years is like the Bernie Kozar Ernest Biner years. It's true, it does. John, you want it? You want a, a deep pull, a sure. extra bonus prop for the for the DJs out there. It. Number one pick of the 2022 NFL Draft will be made by the Cincinnati Bengals, drafting lineman Evan Neal out of mm. Alabama. Sean, six foot seven, three hundred and sixty pounds, an absolute monster of a man. You know what you can get that at? Twenty to one. Ooh, just just say maybe go for two. That, that one might be worth a little. Last time the Browns made the playoffs in back-to-back years, you were correct. Bowser was the Bernie Kosar years <laughs> back in 1988 <laughs> and 1989. So uh, I, I feel like there's a handful of people listening to this podcast who are not alive the last time the Browns made the playoffs, and you're getting plus odds. Come on! People Sometimes gonna, it's just that easy. People are going to be upset. Don't with get us cute. That we they shit we shit on the Browns. Why? I I love Cleveland as a team. I like Miles Garrett. I thought it was funny when he slammed that helmet on Mason Rudolph's head and tried to help him out. I tried to help him out. I, I and, and I I don't think they're going to suck this year. I think they're mm. going to go nine and eight. I just think the the expectations have gotten a little out of control. Yeah. Bust Thank potential. you for participating in the Sports Gambling Podcast. Appreciate you. Coming into the pod, Bowser. Make sure you check out the Luck Stops here, hosted by Scott Bowser, and uh, give him a follow on Twitter at as well at Scott underscore Bowser. Correct, Bowser. Yep, yep, yep. All right, check him out for Steelers takes, Luck Stops here, bunch of gambling talk, bunch of uh, hashtag Dejans only talk. It's a DJ lifestyle. Show, yeah, so. it really is. And if you're going to be out in uh, Vegas for uh, week one, hit us up, hit Bowser up. Uh, let's, let's get drunk and uh, win some bets. Yeah, special guest ah, appearances by Bowser. Refreshing. Oh, I stepped all over it. Do that again. Here we go. Ah, that was refreshing. That's my new uh, beer <laughs> sound drop. I like that one for the sports gambling podcast. I'm Sean stacking the money green. And that was Ryan. A uh, great job, Sean Kramer. Let it ride. Ah, that was refreshing.